The second part of this tutorial, um, I wanted to show you that uh, I mentioned in the previous video that you can link up some of your other photo sharing applications. So when you log in over here on the side, you have this other sites area. If it's not open, you can just click that arrow. It's going to drop it down. You have Facebook, Flickr, Photo Bucket, Picasa. And all you got to do is basically click the login button. And what that's going to do is it's going to link you back to your um, actual account for Picasa or whatever that happens to be. And then you're just going to log in. That's going to act actually um, ask you to grant access. You can say grant access and once you've granted access that's going to link you back over to photoshop.com and you'll now have access to all of your photos and so you can see um, here's when I went to Switzerland, took some photos and uh, here's the plane that I was on some other things going on. So you can, you can actually go in here and it grabs you all the um, folders from um, anything that you have inside of that particular account so um, which is really really cool because you can basically create albums out of these and you can do um, all kinds of really 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 cool stuff so um, this is just a couple pictures of my um, rabbit that I have here and um, yeah so that's what what that's all about and when you click this button it's going to actually create a new album and then you can go ahead and create that album name and that's gonna pop it up over here so you can come back to that at a later time um, the other thing you can do and that you may not know is uh, let's say we've I have this demo album here that I've created I'm gonna put some other photos in there um, I just have one in there right now so I'm gonna actually drag these over here now I have two in here I can go to my slideshow and the slideshow is actually really cool um, you can embed your images in your blog or wherever you want you can look at them individually um, you can look at them actually in a 3D kind of slideshow sort of mode um, you can click on them individually like that and they'll pop up um, there's a couple varieties of things you can do here um, just zoom this in really quick so you can zoom in you can zoom out you can hit this play button it'll scroll to the in between the images and if you have a ton of different images it'll actually go into like a 3d mode which is really cool you just switch this little tab on here I only got two pictures so it probably is not gonna let me do that right now but um, if you do have multiple images you can go into the 3d mode and once you have that there's some other little drop downs over here now one cool thing here is actually you can pick a song now so far I haven't seen you can't really upload your own music but you can add some of these presets um, so like if you want to take your shot you can put that on here you can do a preview okay so there's there's that so basically once you have enabled that um, and that's all ready to go um, you can actually now play the slideshow anywhere you want so once you're done with that you just come back over to my photos and you do link or embed and you can actually link this slideshow um, or you can use this embed code to put it on your blog your website anywhere you want um, so I'll show you this really quick if I just come up here and pop that into Google there's the link to my gallery there and what will happen is now my slideshow is going to now come up and it should have the music playing that I added on there so there you go so you can pause this just by clicking on this and you can share this with your friends so that's um, that's really the basics of using the um, the slideshows and, and, and sharing with friends and stuff you can also share um, just the albums uh, in an email so you can actually put your email addresses in here you can allow somebody to print or download your photos too if you want to do that 
and um, you can basically get an idea of what this looks like and essentially it'll be the same thing that we just looked at um, now in the other tutorial I'm going to go into some of these other editing tools here um, also if you want to just um, email your friends directly you can do that as well you can click on the email button it essentially does the same thing um, and you should probably look at the privacy policy too that they got on here just to make sure that you're in accordance with that always a good thing you don't want to be uploading other people's images and then sharing them uh, all around um, the internet on in emails and stuff and especially if um, these images are, are not yours and they're not copyrighted so just be careful and uh, so yeah we'll um, in the next tutorial we'll talk about editing the images and so um, that's it for the slideshows and the logins for other applications